how to integrate Stripe with Salesforce. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can integrate your Stripe for payment method or getaways within Salesforce. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is right here join Salesforce. Create an account and log in into your account until you see this dashboard. It is very easy to provide the information and also to set up the info and the steps. Now, once you have done that, you're going to visit Stripe, which is a payment getaway or a payment platform that is very well known and also very great to use. Go ahead and create your account within Stripe and make sure to provide the correct information and until the end of the process of uh, the sign up, you're going to see, to see right there the dashboard of Stripe. Once you have did that, you will get the benefits that Stripe will allow you to and also give you the favor of. Now, for example, creating invoices, subscriptions, payment links, and also create one charge payments. Now, within that done, we're going to visit Salesforce again. Now, all we have to do is to log in. I have logged in into my account. And now all we have to do to set everything up is to go ahead and create an account. The account right there is different from the account that we have created. It is called a subscription. You need to buy a subscription. We have only two subscriptions. We have $25 per month subscription and we have the pro suit which is $100 per month. So choose carefully your subscription and everything will work. Then when you finish creating your subscription, you're going to visit the commerce store. Here, the commerce will let you create some payment links and also you will have a merchant account. With these, you can receive the payments and also make them. For example, right there, as you can see, we have the option to get paid fast with PayNow. This is the option or the benefit of creating a commerce and also creating a uh, subscription. Now, after we have set everything from here, we're going to visit the sales section. Click on the sales section and now we have a menu. Within that menu, we have leads, contacts, accounts, opportunities, products, price books, calendar, and etc. So, all we need to do is to add a step-by-step -step these elements. So whenever you add a step-by-step -step of these elements, you're going to receive the payments and also, for example, some subscriptions. This sales is called like that because here we are going to do the business. For example, you can open a lead or add a lead right there. For example, here we have the contact. Go ahead and import your contact or add it manually. Now we have the option to add a contact. For the situation, you're going to add this contact. These contacts are necessary because nothing is going to be automated right there. This special platform is made for deals and also for negotiation. It is not a store and it is not an online right there showcaser like uh, Shopify or WooCommerce. Here we have, we are on the professional side. So, you're going to set the uh, contact. For example, for this situation, I'm going to set Jack Smith for the first and last name. The account name, I'm going to put here Jack. And for the title, it is up to you to do that. Reports and etc. And then you are going to set the get in touch option from the phone number, email, the billing address or the mailing address. And then you can go ahead and click on save. Now the account name right there, I'm going to search for the testing. This is just a name that I have uh, brought to this platform for the sake of the testing. Now we have the account created. And as you can see within the dashboard, sorry for that, within the dashboard, we can see the account here. So we are going to click on it. We are going to see all of the details. You can set the opportunities, which is the uh, most obliged one to set the opportunities. Now I'm going back right there to Jack. For the opportunities, before setting that, we are going to add a product. For example, let's go ahead and any, add any product. You can add a category or add a normal product. For this product, 
these are uh, generally consisted as services so we are going to set for example a service of creating a music instrument for example or a music let's say rhythm i'm going to set rhythm and the family or the product family you're going to set for example none or where right there nothing product code put any code and for the product description i'm going to set the same product name you can detail these because you are going to work with the professional ones not the uh, individuals so with the individuals it will be a lot easier to add a generated or a uh, right there a standard description so make sure to set everything now after you have added the product or the service you're going to the opportunities now within the opportunity you can create or import one now i'm going to add a name or a opportunity name for example rhythm or contract contract of a rhythm creation and for the account name right there i'm going to set the account that i have added you can see the accounts right there from the menu close date you can go ahead and give the client a date or a due date so are going to put a or to push it a right there a week for the amount we are going to set for example ten thousand and for the description go ahead and set a description as i told you before now for the status you can set a state set a stage qualify meet and present purpose negotiate i'm going to set the negotiation and the probability here it depends on the client if you are sure and you are confident that the client will not uh, refuse the opportunity you are going to set it as a 75 but if you are going to doubt that you are going to set it less for the forecast category here we have something i'm going to set engage or engage right there and the next step you can write it sign a deal for example and then we are going to click on save and we have created our uh, right there uh, the opportunity now you can go ahead and see the negotiation within a day and then we can close or make the disclose of the contract or the opportunity from here if it is okay we're going to make a deal and get paid if it is not we're going to close it and create another one for another client now whenever you set something right there you're going to see the contract role make sure to add a contract role because this is very important in my case i'm going to add this because i have created this contact and this is for example the person that i am going to make this offer or this opportunity to for the files you can set some samples or you can use the softwares to create a, a sample or an original one in this case which is a song rhythm and upload it right there and you can add the product for example you can add right there the product like this one i have added a product for the quantity i'm going to set one and here we have it and for the payment links you're going to create a payment link but this is a uh, right there a custom uh, option because it will not let me create a payment link because i didn't create a uh, account yet for the subscriptions now after you have created the subscription a button right there instead of mark stage as complete you're going to see it for example i'm going to uh closed one so we have this one you're going to see instead of this button you're going to see right there a terminal so you can create a terminal for this one this is a deal and you can create the own terminal for it and as you can see we have this try payment schedule and charges it will appear as soon as you are going to create this so you are going to create a right there a schedule or a payment schedule so when you visit stripe you're going to set a schedule and that schedule is going to be as a subscription here you can add it manually from here or you can set it right there on the platform right there it is not possible for us to do it because we didn't bought a subscription yet
but in Stripe, you can go ahead and create it. For example, the customer. Well, there you are you're going to add the customer. I'm going to add Jack. This is our Jack like this. This is the customer. So we are going to add it here. Put the email of Jack, description of that a client. You can uh, use the same as account email. Here we can use the country and add as much information as we want about Jack. So we are going to add it like this. Now, for the duration, you can set the duration for Jack. I'm going to set it until the 10th right there or uh, forever. I don't know. Here for the pricing, we're going to set the pricing right there, the quantity of the product, music, creation, rhythm, like that like this and here we have it the quantity you can add a quantity now you can add a description creation like that so copy and paste you can add a image or a uh, illustration for it you can set it a one-off or a, a recurring for example i'm going to set it to ten thousand. you can add this product and here we have it now everything is set and you can see the preview and also you can send an invoice within that subscription you can set or set an additional trial day and you can start start billing after you have set also right there the deadlines or the negotiation. Now, when you finish this, you're going to schedule this and also put an invoice template and also you can add a payment method right there. Or you can set an email invoice to the customer to pay manually. And here we have the subscription set. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.